no, it's not. Don't tell my mother she's wrong. These wieners are too small. Ah! What's with the toothpicks? Don't you hurt my mommy. The tone is all wrong. Do it again. You're here. I need you here. Here. Yikes. They're in a mood today. We better be on our best behavior, okay, Dave? Ah! Mm. What are you doing? Throwing a ginormous wheel of cheese down the aisle. Da. That's not a good idea. What's not a good idea? Nothing, not anything. Doing nothing. That's what we're doing. Scatty's doing nothing. I'm gonna bowl this wheel of cheese into those turkey legs. It'll hit that turtle, over Mildred's conveyor belt, outside the star, back inside the star. Nothing but turkey legs. You'll never make that shot. I'll never not make that shot. If you make that shot, I'll give you the deed to the store. Yeah, she'll give him that. What? Maybe we ought to think this through before. Cheese away! <laughs> Well, I guess that's that. Oopsie. <gasps> Sometimes you bet the store on a wheel of cheese turkey legs gamble, and you lose. No! Mama! No! Mrs. Nestor's mother, you can't let Dave run this store. Which I have no doubt you'd be excellent at. Please, I beg you, rethink this. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... Listen to the squirrel! Too late! Gone! Peace out! No! Ah! This is not good. Morning, Dave. How's your first day as owner going? I'm taking a hands-off approach. The place kind of runs itself anyway. My cash register is out of change. Oh, okay. So, uh, what? Well, normally Nestor would just go to the bank. Banana, bananas, apples, and oranges, plums, mangoes, peaches, pineapples, prunes, and pears. Ah! That's every vegetable I know. What do we do? Well, Nestor would just order more fruit. Could... Dave, you can't just ignore these problems. You're in charge now. Sometimes ignoring things is good. That's how I got so many cavities. That's not a good thing. I'll restock the produce and get some change. But you're the boss now. You have to run this place. But I don't know anything about... <gasps> Everything I say tastes minty. Dave, this is your chance to make the store into what you've always wanted it to be. Still out of change. What I've always wanted it to be? <gasps> I think I'm getting an idea. Uh, False alarm. Mildred, I got some change at the bank for you. <laughs> Buck, what's going on? It's Cowboy Tuesday. I didn't see anything about Cowboy Tuesday on the bulletin board. Dave leaves his messages under the rock outside the store. Tuesday is now Cowboy Day. Gently, gently. Oh. Wheel of prices? When did this happen? <laughs> Round and round it goes. Where it stops, nobody. Free groceries. You can't give away free groceries? Dave's rules. You pay $1,000. This is not a very good spin. Closing time, everybody. Dave, it's 12.30 in the afternoon. You can't close this store. Hey, hey, who's the boss here? This is still not good. <laughs> Dave, we really need to talk. You remade the entire office out of gelatin? <laughs> and it was not cheap. So what's up, buddy? <laughs> Be gentle with her. <laughs> Last time Bertha was moved, someone switched on her turbo boost setting. Ah. 
Ah, bad times, bad times. What were you saying, Scatty? Maybe you need some help running the stash and hoard. You don't think I'm not a good boss? Mm, anyway, I brought you an audio book that might help. The seven highly effective things that get done by highly effective people when they're being highly effective. I hear it's pretty effective. Give it a listen when you get a chance. I should get back to work. Or we could lock the doors, fill the store with water, and pretend we're in an aquarium. Maybe you could listen to it now. Hello, and welcome to the seven highly effective things that get done by highly effective people. And we can't stress this enough, you need to expand the profit margin. Have we mentioned that you really need to expand the profit margin? And now you are an effective boss. <laughs> wow, this audiobook is good. Hey, Mildred, need any change? Dave has me all topped up. <laughs> Steve has us all covered! Wow, I guess that CD really worked. Why are you standing still? We'll never maximize the efficiency of the Dave and Dave like this. The Dave and Dave? I renamed the store to make it more profit expanded. Margarinely speaking, of course. I... I don't know what that means. It means... Get to work! <laughs> hmm. Expand! <laughs> the profit! Margarine! Extend the profit margarine! Stop! Stop meeting! Now! All right, everyone. Dividends in third quarter mandibles are to be expected. The assets are spiraling upward. That's why the moon has a face. Questions? What was that you said about fudge? Yummy. Any other questions? All right, then. Meeting over adjourned. Now, now it's time, time to run, run the, the dress, dress rehearsal, rehearsal for, for tomorrow's, tomorrow's workday. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Eating a banana. Very profit margarine -y. Nice work, Buck. I'm Gary. <laughs> Did you just correct me? Okay, okay everyone, everyone, we're going, we're going again, again from the, from the top, top, thanks to Buck. Way to go. But I didn't do anything. I need to find Mama and get her back in charge. Welcome aboard Who Cares Tours. If you look to your left, you'll see another Balsa City tourist trap. Shut your tourist trap and read from the script I wrote. I can't. I dropped it in the water. You what? <laughs> Mama and Nestor! <laughs> I found you two. Welcome aboard. Five bucks, hand it over. Mrs. Nestor's mother, can you please... Save your questions until the end of the tour. When I'm gone. The stash and hoard needs you back. Dave's being the bossiest boss that ever bossed. <laughs> so the skunk is being bossy, huh? Bossier than me? Uh, yes. <laughs> Nobody exploits my employees but me. Nestor... Turn this bus around! We got a store to take back! Yes, mother! I have an idea! You'll get the store back by betting Dave you can ride Bertha on turbo mode! Piece of cake! Let's just get to the training montage! A good manager keeps the customers on their toes. Hello, Dave. Scary. Mama thinks she can ride Bertha on turbo. No, you can't. No one can. It's impossible. Is that right? Aha! Uh -huh. Well, how about if Mama can do it, she wins the store back. On second thought, I bet she can do it. In fact, here. 
Whoa, that is a load off my chest. That was like way easier than I thought it would be. Oh no, I hope you didn't do a big training montage. Dave, wait up! Are you still going to ride, Bertha? I think you can do it. Go, Mama, go, Mama, go. <laughs> Running the store wasn't for me, but I kind of liked having a job. I have an idea of something you might enjoy. Now, now if, if you, you look, look down, down you'll, you'll see your feet. feet. And water. Lots and lots of water. <laughs> <laughs>